cruising down the street in my six fall. Just like that, somebody turned off the rain and the sun come out. I'm your huckleberry. Hey, everybody. You don't know me, but I'm on TV, so you can trust me. This is Tampa Podcast with Rob and Jen. Thanks for joining us today, and we have a special guest. Andre. Andre Hampton, Andre, the yay. proprietor of this uh, here establishment that we do these podcasts out of, yeah. uh, amongst other things. Uh, Andre, you want to introduce yourself? Uh, certainly. Um, thank you guys for having me yeah. here. I certainly appreciate this. So, uh, my name is Andre Hampton. I'm the founder and managing director of Streams Capital. Uh, it's an investment advisory firm. We specialize in work with high net worth individuals, uh, specifically to preserve wealth and generate income. Uh, I'm a lifelong entrepreneur, over 20 years' experience in business, finance, and real estate. Author of the book, Keep the Change. You guys oh. can get a copy on Amazon mm -hmm. or Barnes and Noble. Mm -hmm. And a uh, qualified family office professional. So wow. all those combined, and we created Factory 114 here to help entrepreneurs. Yeah. Yep. Author, uh, entrepreneur, broker. Real estate broker. Real estate life broker. and wow. Life and annuity. Um, Series mm -hmm. 65 investment advisor. Oh, couple my different gosh. Things, so, yeah. How yeah. do you do it all? Uh, one step at a time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's See, we secret. got a legit guest here. Talk <laughs> about entrepreneurship, small business. Uh, I think he knows a thing or two about that. Yeah. Uh, financial <laughs> stuff, real estate as well. Let me get a little closer here. Um, what do, what comes through your, your mind about, like, what, you know, when you when he tells you what he does in his pitch, mm -hmm. um, you know, what interests you to know more? Um, I mean, man, there's so many questions I have for you. <laughs> <laughs> Again, how do you do it all? Um, you know, how what got you into all of this? Um, mm. What made you so have that entrepreneurial bug? To get into all these different fields, yeah, that's a and how do you question. juggle it all? Again, I d that just blows my mind right. as it is. So I don't know how we got it all done uh, or do it. <laughs> um, I guess it really started for me as a kid. Okay, um, it was an entrepreneurial journey. Um, I think my first business I did. I grew up in a farm, a small town wow. in Kansas, uh -huh. and. Uh, decided I want to sell eggs. We bought a chicken coop oh. and you know raising chickens, selling eggs, all that kind of yeah. stuff. Uh, course continued through high school and then right out of high school I started a telecommunications consulting company. Okay. And we was traveling around the country doing that. Uh, wound up in Florida in 1999. The markets crashed mm -hmm. and I decided that you know, I mean we still had the, that vision of you know owning a business and kind of growing that mm -hmm. um, just studying wealth and wealthy families mm -hmm. um, most wealth is created in finance and real estate so right. I said we better be good at these two things yes. and that's kind of what started it so wow. yeah. so incredible. would you say it's been easier than punching a clock <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> is being an um, entrepreneur easy no it's not easy it's not easy at all um, however punching a clock I've, I've done it a couple of times in the last 20 25 years and it lasts about two weeks and it's nauseating so mm -hmm. it really doesn't even matter what it is i just I can't do it but yeah and i was just saying so the entrepreneurs are the only people that are work 80 or 90 hours a week to avoid working 40 and <laughs> yes that's it's true that's so true, <laughs> it's true. It's it's very so true. true yeah wow. i don't think a lot of people realize uh how difficult it is and actually the term entrepreneur is being used like pretty loosely like candy, yeah. these yeah. days yeah. you know everybody has an entrepreneur but uh, you're a true entrepreneur you're actually like you know you, you see the physical uh, there's something you can touch that is a result of your hard work and, and what you've done uh, so what was the vision originally for factory 114 Part of the struggle that I had, um, just even getting Streams Capital to where it was, was really you need you need the help. You need to figure out all the marketing pieces. You need them just pieces out there. But there's really there wasn't any programs around to do that. So I started looking at different accelerator programs, and what uh, and Tampa has some of the the best ones in the country, but they're for technology companies. Mm -hmm. So if you're not a tech or an innovative company, then it's not you know it's just not accelerated for you. Right. So um, I was introduced to a personal brand accelerator program. I mean, it was an expensive program. It's like a $20,000 accelerator. 
mm-hmm. and went through that and realized that I mean I was working on a lot of the right things just had some things you know out of order and needed to do some couple different mm-hmm. things but just really that it shouldn't take 20 years to figure it out mm-hmm. and so I knew that you know what we could take these tools help yeah. entrepreneurs do this in a much shorter time frame you right. know here's all the mistakes you made here's you know that I've made and then kind of condense it down so right. um, you know factor 114 was a combination of I wanted to you know live and work and be downtown so I wanted to you know get my business down here um, this building is a little bit larger than I wanted to do and <laughs> oh, I don't really? want to pay I, I didn't want to pay rent so I'm like you know how do we make this building pay for itself right um, so it was a combination of all those things and really just kind of wanted to create a hub for folks to come in and almost be an assembly line so you can come in get pieces of your business worked on and then just kind of create that hub for entrepreneurs right and you have a lot of things that go on here uh not just i mean you got the program uh the accelerated program mm-hmm. you have the workspace the shared workspace uh you have some other offices a conference room here but you have artwork and <laughs> stuff uh that you wouldn't expect uh mm-hmm. you know this is actually perfect because you can have events mm-hmm. and everything in fact you know there's a event we'll talk about later coming up uh how did these people like what i guess the diversity of it and mm-hmm. you know what i think that's probably what surprised me the most when we opened up i really didn't i mean we had a target market but the people who were showing up were creatives, you know, have artists, you've got photographers, you got video, I mean, there's the whole mix of, you know, a whole host of those kind of people looking for space to do something in. Of course, everybody has an extremely limited budget, and so it just, it was a fit, so mm-hmm. um, it's a great location downtown, we're in the Channel District, and it's kind of worked out, so. And, and yeah. price-wise, like, how does it compare to some of the other workspaces uh, around, like, I know uh, Armature Works has uh, mm-hmm. one upstairs. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we work is yeah, another WeWork's one coming in. Uh, yeah, like how how would you say pricing wise it's compared uh, to be here and actually like some of the extra benefits that you mm-hmm. do get because right. you have access to Andre. I mean he's 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 not afraid to give you advice and, and you know awesome. help you out if you have a problem, mm-hmm. uh, which I've experienced personally and I've, I've witnessed uh, with other people. Um, and that's not just going through the program, but even people that haven't gone through the program, that uh, he's he's helped out. Absolutely. Uh, so that, that's an added benefit you get for 114 a month. Is yeah, it? yeah. Our memberships. Uh, we started at 114 a month. Um, we there's a couple of um, co-working spaces that are a little bit less than ours. Um, more of them, I think, are they, they cost more than ours. Um, some of them are even several hundred dollars a month to be right. in the co-working. Wow. Um, so it's there's a mix of there. We're really finding. You know, we have WeWork coming to town. There's a lot of those. There's a number of different, you know, bigger national names that are here now and coming here. Um, but ours has really been the core of it's been the accelerator. It was really, you know, how do we help entrepreneurs versus just being a space to go hang out? Um, that's probably been our biggest biggest thing to that. So right, right. and that's a, the differentiator, mm-hmm. I guess. Uh, mm-hmm. That's kind of setting you apart is that added value mm-hmm. that you're getting out of it. Yeah, we're bringing in other sure. coaches too. Uh, we got Rebecca joining us. Um, you know, Marcus. You know, some other folks. We're bringing in other coaches. So I'm not the only one here, but mm-hmm. um, definitely wanted to wanted to build that, and we're just kind of growing our mentorship team. Yeah, yeah. that's really cool. Yeah. So, how much of your time do you spend like mentoring and coaching your? Um, I guess what would you call the people who rent? Um, the space from you mm-hmm. monthly to come here. What, what are they? What do you refer to them as? Our members. A members. members. Yeah, <laughs> make it easy. <laughs> Mom brain here. Right. So, how much of your time do you spend allocated towards that, and then working your own businesses as well? I mean, that's a lot to maintain. I guess I don't have an answer. I don't know. No. Um, <laughs> kind of depends on the day. I mean, yeah. you know, if I've, I'll have meetings, you know, things like that scheduled and blocked out. But if somebody's here and just questions, I'm like, Adam, I mean, we're just we're just here. Mm-hmm. So I mean, if it's an hour to a day or something like that, depending on you know who's yeah. here, what the need is. But wow, so, yeah, that's amazing. And you're so like relaxed and even keel about everything. <laughs> I don't know how. I truly don't know how you do it because. You must, it must just roll right off your back. Do you, has that come over time or have you always been like this? I this think I've something? always been like that. Mm. Um, I know my mom and some others used to you know, say that you're, I'm trying to think of what's the word they would say. Um, not nonchalant, but yeah. you know, kind of like that, you know, you, you, 
not that you don't care, but just like you don't let stuff bother you. Right. So I think I've always had that, but you know, yeah. over time, you know, you, you come up against so many roadblocks, so many no's, so many mm -hmm. stress that you know we could fret about it, we could lose sleep over it, but it's not going to change it. So right. Yeah. Yeah. Why stress about yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. That's incredible. My goodness. Yeah. Wow. The, so what what was the inspiration as far as the design and because it does have some unique design features inside mm -hmm. the, the this workspace i mean i think that's the thing that cut, catches everybody's eyes uh when they walk in is like how cool it is because you have uh like graffiti art on the mm -hmm. on the walls you have uh <laughs> you have a kitchen like basically <laughs> like right here where we, where we are right. like a bar area uh in the other room we have uh, another kitchen mm -hmm. i guess the other half of the kitchen with the ovens and and such uh what kind of inspired this this design the color scheme um we created actually my wife nikki was very instrumental in helping with that um the interesting thing about the building is a lot of what you see here was kind of here when we came in Okay. Um, wow. So it um, had a really interesting background story. This building was actually seized by the U.S. Marshals, so there was a lot of stuff going on before oh that. Oh my gosh! Mm. Wow. Went through, yeah, another investment group. Yeah, so there's a whole other story <laughs> with that one. Um, so the kid that had the space then um, did a lot of the build out, but everything was left kind of unfinished. So everything was still builder white or just primed walls. I mean, none of the appliances. You know, most of those weren't here. Wow. The graffiti art he actually commissioned, uh, Gregory Sith out of California. Uh, they brought him out to do those. Okay. Um, so, I mean, a lot of those kind of pieces were here, so we added the color schemes and kind of our own flair to it and the furniture. And so, like, this stuff was here? This was here. I mean, kitchens? we brought in the fridge and the, the appliances and everything else, but the kitchens were here. Oh, that's, that's a legit cool. fridge. I mean, that's, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that's, like that's a, a commercial grade, it's commercial. Just yeah. huge. That's it. Fridge. That holds a lot, that that beers, house, right? <laughs> holds a lot of beers, right? A lot of beers. So, like, what was going on? Was it like the Here. Wolf of Wall Street call center going on in here? Or? Uh, <laughs> he wasn't in a financial industry. He did have a call center going on. Um, wow. So the rumors I had heard when we came in were he had two things going. One of them was a uh, travel package scam. I guess he was selling out you know, travel packages oh, to elderly. No. You know, something like that, you know, ripping off a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. And then uh, That's the about the time. That's in Florida right there. Right? Wow. Yeah, you know, you charge them twelve, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500 for a travel package and then go to Orbitz and buy them a $69 flight and wow. send them an email and then off you go. So, oh my um, gosh. That was that piece of it. Then I heard that he, uh, right at Dr. Oz, came out and was doing the green tea, pushing green tea. So they were big into e-commerce. So they threw mm -hmm. up a website, was driving traffic to it, used his likeness, everything else. Yeah. Um, I was told he made 30 some million dollars inside <gasps> of a year. In and green tea. In green tea. Oh, holy cow. You know, 30 pounds, been? 30 days, and everybody went crazy. And <laughs> Oh, there you go. Right? That's the secret. So, um, Jeez, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, is he doing time, this guy? Or? Um, I actually heard last November he was busted in the Bahamas. Um, oh they God. popped him at one of the resorts there with a the fake diner's club card. <gasps> and so, again, wow. I haven't, I, I mean, this is hearsay. Mm -hmm. um, one of the folks who used to work with him, I had an opportunity to talk with him. Yeah. He kind of confirmed everything, but it's still hearsay. Um, but apparently they busted him down there like a you know oceanfront mansion and but oh one room was completely set up to make fake credit cards so it's just <gasps> like he couldn't quit he's like addicted to scamming <laughs> yeah. people yeah. Like, dude you, you were oh. gone man go just go get your little tiki hut on the yeah. beach yeah. you know just relax a little live life oh, yeah. i'll bet you anything and this is from our non-florida man story in our, mm -hmm. our first episode um I bet you this guy gets less time than Fajita Man. Yeah, you think? No. What yeah. if Fajita Man got? He got like 50, 50 years. 50 years for stealing no fajitas. Fajitas. Oh boy. You don't what? know? That? Yeah. Oh, this okay. guy is in a previous non Florida yeah, Man story. Yeah, check out episode but, one. <laughs> yeah. If you want to see that, yeah. Fajita Man. He got 50 years uh, Isn't for that wild? stealing fajitas. So this this cat that you're talking about, he'll yeah, probably get I have no idea. Man. But um, just so that was this. Um, inside we enclosed in the area that makes the conference room. So mm -hmm. that was all just like an open space down there, um, and then it was all done. So yeah, what's cool is like you you come up and you almost drive by the place. Like if you're following your GPS, like the first time I think everybody drives by mm -hmm. it. You know, anybody that I've invited over here have gone right by it, or they get sent up because 12th Street. It starts changing numbers and going the other direction. I think when you get past the coffee mm -hmm. place, um, but there's a garage door. You know, it doesn't look like money. You come in the garage, 
and that's how you enter the the building yeah it's really so you'd cool. almost go right by it uh you probably will if you do if you don't know what you're looking for it's a hidden but, gem, hidden gem. <laughs> yeah it's a hidden gem and as soon as you start walking in you start seeing the motivational stuff yeah uh like moving forward mm -hmm. uh, really cool. i think right at the front yeah, yeah and the, the place for bright ideas yeah. is some of the mantra here that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I was I was uh, interested the minute I I checked it out. I think I found you on social media nice. first, and then I was like, man, I gotta look into this place a little mm -hmm. a little more. And then I came and met you, and yeah, and uh, I've been coming back ever since. Aww. So what is your? I know you you have a wife and three boys. I think yeah. you said right. Yeah. So what did they all think of all this? Oh my goodness! <laughs> what next? <laughs> oh gosh! Yeah, it's oh um, it's gosh. been interesting. So, yeah. yeah. Aww, that's uh, cool. That's cool. Do they do do they have the entrepreneurial spirit that you have? Would you say, or has it passed, been passed down, or? Not really. I yeah. tried to early on, but mm -hmm. I think uh, just I don't know if it was a combination of them seeing a lot of, a lot of the struggles and things yeah. like that to go through. So they kind of went the other direction with things. So right. I hope you know they're just Scared now trying to figure bit. out like. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Know, They're still young, too. They'll come back around. Yeah, you know. they will. <laughs> it it, it <laughs> don't do. really matter what you do. Like, mm -hmm. your kids are probably not going to want to do it. Right. You know, right. It, it, For no a while, anyway. Because no matter, yeah, you're going to have, you know, they're going to see the negatives and that's what's going to stick mm -hmm. in their mind for mm -hmm. the most part. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why, like they say, 80% of uh, second generation businesses oh, yeah. don't survive. Yeah. Oh wow. Eighty yeah. percent. That's huge. Oh my gosh. Because they don't have the same passion. They don't have right. The, right. It's just you know, not there. So. The, yeah, it's oh not there. Gosh. They've seen their parents struggle. They yeah. just want to mm -hmm. separate themselves from mm -hmm. it. Just sell it off. Oh, well, he just started doing uh, sales with like Verizon Wireless. So he's gone through all their training, yeah. and everything else. So I'm hearing him talk now, but you hear him. Of course, he wants, he's ready to set the world on fire and go after yeah. some. I'm like, okay, you, you the bug's in there. You know, he'll be <laughs> back here, around. Come out. <laughs> yep. So right. wait a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. uh, thing in, you know, at least he's learning sales cycles and everything mm -hmm. now. That's good. So That's really cool. Yeah. Good for yeah. him. Yeah. So what's, uh, what's the future hold? What do you got going on? Oh what's uh, near, medium term, long term? What are you? We uh, are putting together a um, number of different um, gatherings, different events, um, really kind of bringing some folks in, getting some more exposure here. Um, we have some real estate development plans that we're working on right now. Um, a little premature to probably talk about them publicly, mm -hmm. um, but they'll see those kind of come out here in the next month or two. So yeah, um, working on a strategic purchase, um, potentially to develop a tower here. Uh, wow, so we may try to that's like exciting. That. Yeah, so it'll be something Ooh. coming up. So couple different things that'd be awesome Very cool. what about the the events you got coming up like uh i know there's a linkedin event yeah we're doing the uh, linkedin local uh they're coming up here september 26 i believe into this um okay. uh, end of this month so here in a couple of weeks so that's mm -hmm. coming up uh we're doing a block party with the uh, cdca which is the channel district community alliance mm -hmm. uh, so oh, that's cool. going to be coming up in october um i know there's a couple of different uh different entrepreneur groups coming out from different um just different genres on that. Um, the last Fridays of the month, we're going to pick back up and start doing our Factory Fridays, which is oh, a yeah. you know kind of a laid back networking, That's yeah, like cool. social music, night. Yeah. social night, come nice. out and hang out, and uh, there'll be some more stuff get announced here soon. Oh, yeah, that's, that's cool. I mean, the LinkedIn, just having that, uh, you know, that name behind some of the events Absolutely. that's happening mm -hmm. here is is big. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we like bringing out the groups. Um, uh, you know, we've got Tampa Bay Wave. That's one of the other accelerator programs here. Synapse Group. Um, you know, enjoy having those folks out. Um, so there's a list of those. You know, they're doing. You know, just they're really all about entrepreneurs in Tampa. Um, the community that's behind that. So we, you know, mm -hmm. anything that we can do to help support that, that's what we really right. like doing those, doing those yeah, types of groups here. Yeah, you got to support your community Absolutely. for sure. Absolutely. Well, we'll have to put links to all of these events um, under the so, video yeah, and on our Facebook sure. page. Absolutely. So if you're interested in buying tickets. Um, you know where to go. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And have a link for the, the whole accelerator program and all that. Yeah, Absolutely. definitely. That'll all be the on link. there. So if you're listening to this, check out our Facebook or Instagram. You can find the uh, information you need to get a little more information, <laughs> for lack of a better right. word. <laughs> so do you want to, you got some, yeah, uh, so like, she got some quick questions. We've got there. a lightning so round. I have been round. so excited to do this. I, this is the first lightning round I've gotten to do, so I'm excited to do it on you, Andre. Oh boy. Are you ready? I think so. All right, here we go. You have like one and a half seconds to answer 
Uh, yeah, just yeah. as fast you as you can. You just gotta peel it off your head. Whatever comes off your head. You know how it goes. Yeah. All right. Bucks, lightning, or rays? Hmm. Lightning. All right. And I'm not a hockey fan. No. <laughs> he knows a winner though, right? right? Is it because they they win? I think it's because of the community energy around it. I yeah. mean, I was completely surprised that Tampa, Florida has this huge hockey mm-hmm. fan. It's just, yeah, it's you huge, think you know, so football or baseball or whatever. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, but I'm just sorry. to see that, I mean, yeah. everybody because the arenas is like a block away. So, I mean, right. yeah, the too. game night stuff like that. I mean, mm-hmm. the streets get crowded, so it's a lot of fun. It's really cool yeah. to see it down absolutely. here. Cool. Yep. Uh, favorite place to get a drink in Tampa? Oh man, um, <laughs> right gotcha. here. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, the cool space is uh, the Sail Pavilion. Uh, they just oh. redid all that. That's kind of a neat place to go. Okay, so, Sail uh, Pavilion. The Sail, Pavilion. Sail Pavilion, right Where's by the uh, convention center. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll have to check That's that one neat. out. Yeah, it's a little okay. outdoor area. Yeah. Oh, that one. Okay, I know where you mean. Like in that little roundabout yep. area right there. Yep. Yeah. Right and what's your uh, what's your drink of choice? Oh my goodness, <laughs> try not to too much. Um, Yingling, if I'm going to drink a beer, okay. um, I don't drink alcohol too much. No? Aw. No. He's got, he has no thing. time. <laughs> what are you talking about? He ain't got time to have a buzz you. or anything. All right, uh, Florida summer or Florida winter? Oh, Florida winter. Okay, I feel like that's pretty <laughs> self explanatory. Uh, yeah. I don't I try not to complain about the summer here, mm. but I mean, it's why we're here, but it's hot. It's And I think this last year has been extremely hot, yeah. but um, just muggy. Mm-hmm. Of I like the beach in the morning and the evenings. Right. I mean, the beach in the winter is perfect, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. middle of the day. It's that's it. Pretty uh, dense, so I hear you. Uh, favorite beach in the Bay Area? Siesta Key. Siesta Key. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. good one. that's a good one. Nope. Uh, St. Peter, Tampa. Is there a difference? <laughs> Tampa Bay. Some people would say so. I know. Yeah, there is. Oh, man, that's a tough one. Um, mm-hmm. I'm going to say Tampa, but, I mean, I, I love going over to St. Pete. So, yeah. the downtown area, the art district, all that, I mean, it's great, but yeah. Tampa. Yeah. All right, Tampa, Tampa. you got a point there. <laughs> uh, favorite pizza spot in Tampa? Hmm. Either Duo Michi's or uh, mm. Fabrica. They do a really good fire. Oh, yeah. where's Fabrica's the one? Fabrica's right there. like a block, yeah. a block oh. from here. Absolutely. So they make it like to order. No. Nope. Right? They make it a little, it's kind of like mod or like blaze pizza. A lot better though. Yeah, me and Big Dog went there. Well, yeah. Yeah. The, the pricing would indicate that. Well, you know, <laughs> it's, like, it's quality. Yeah, it's good. It is good. It's good. I'll give you that. Well, it's delicious. Yeah. I'll have to try Fabrica and do a Michi. I know we've mentioned do a Michi yeah. here before. Do a Michi. That's, <laughs> that's good for, you know, that's an Ebor night. You know, spot. you need somewhere at 1 or 2 a.m. to grab a slice. Yeah. Yeah. That's lunchtime. Yeah. Me and Big Dog go there at lunch and mm-hmm. uh, we love it. There yeah. you go. Yeah. The owner's cool. He likes to talk to us. Uh, All right. Uh, talking about, I mean, you know, do you have any more ladies? Yeah, I got a couple more. A couple All right. More? Uh, North Tampa or South Tampa? South Tampa. Mm, I knew Sorry. that was coming. <laughs> South Tampa. <laughs> uh, favorite charity in Tampa? Favorite charity in Tampa. Mm-hmm. You have a local charity that you're, you like to There's support? There's so many. Um, you have Metro, uh, Metro, Metropolitan Ministries. That's mm-hmm. a, a one. And then uh, Feeding Tampa Bay. That's another great one that's here. Yes, yeah, those so, are very, both very good. Yeah. What about Habitat? Habitat. Uh, Habitat's, one yeah, too. They Habitat's they're very local, active here. Yeah, um, Wounded Warriors. I mean, there's so many groups. Oh, yeah, Wounded Warriors, Wounded Warriors actually is a big one. Started, what, oh, they did? From St. Pete or something. I think, I think so. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, huh. yeah they're local. Okay, cool. Um, favorite steak place in Tampa? Steak place. Mm-hmm. Um, they're not open yet. Oh. What? <laughs> okay. Are you privy to Wait some information? I am. Oh. So there's this phenomenal spot going to be open up in Ebor. It's okay. called, called Barter House. Ooh. Check them out. They did a pop up here, and the chef uh, that is behind that concept also has two places in Charleston. Oh. Uh, one of them is a seafood place, and one of them is one of the top steakhouses in America. No. So they were here, and he cooked some steak, and I was just completely floored. But I mean, yeah. it's phenomenal. So yeah. Oh my god. Barter House, they're coming soon. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, this is this this whole lightning question thing is supposed to take you off guard, not us. <laughs> hey, like, where did you come up with that answer? Hey, you he know. knows all the secrets of Tampa wow. Bay. I like it. Absolutely. What's what the name of it again? Barter House. Barter House. Yeah. So it's. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's gonna be a mix, but they did steak. I mean, they had um, lobster oh, chips oh. with uh, oh, uh, yeah. caviar. I mean, they did. How did I miss this? Pork belly. I mean, it was. Yeah. When was this? A couple months back. 
Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, that's why you got to join Factory 114. Absolutely. There you yeah, go. You'll know this stuff. <laughs> I know, right? You'll know all the secrets. They'll be open soon. Mm. I missed one. Man. I'm Sounds excited. like a good one. Hey, for future people, reference, you know what? anytime yeah. there's a stake involved, like call you, and let you know. Yeah, you know, <laughs> right? you got my number. That was yeah. a special. You know, it was like for their investor group. So I just kind of got to be. And I'm not an investor in that company, but um, I was kind of invited since we're here. Nice. But that was great. But um, everybody asked that. Um, Charlie's is a good spot. Been there. Mm-hmm. Of course, you have um, like uh, Grillsmith. Mm-hmm. Everybody talks about Burns. Mm-hmm. I hate to admit it, but I've never been to Burns yet. Oh, so I've yeah, got to go. Yeah. Right. I know. I've got to go. Yeah. go. So. You got something to, something to look forward to. That's it. Yes. That's when, you know, that's a special night. Mm-hmm. When, uh, mm-hmm. You have a big deal to right. celebrate. Absolutely. Or, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That's a, that's a three hour mm-hmm. event right there. Plus dessert. Oh. And the dessert room, dessert, you have to right. get the, um, the Burns iced coffee. Okay. It is so good. All right. Even my husband is obsessed with it. Okay. And he's not a sweet type of person. So right. you coffee. gotta get it. It's so good. <laughs> and what else? Um, so last question is, what's your favorite podcast in Tampa? Oh my goodness, this one. Yay! <laughs> Good question. <laughs> yeah, right? You this like, is Tampa. You like how I think there? <laughs> Absolutely. That one got me up go. there. I didn't know that was coming. So, <laughs> <laughs> I try. We try? Uh, what, what we got? Oh, our non-Florida man story this oh, week. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wait. Your res- response to this. Go Florida ahead. man. You're okay. Jen's our, our right. non-Florida man. Uh, so, tell her. Tell we'll her have to stories. post a picture of this one. Um, our non-Florida man story. Uh, credit to Rob for finding this one. Um, Captain America arrested in North Mississippi. So this guy, I mean, he's got to be in like his fifties or sixties. I don't know. He put on a Captain America costume <laughs> with you know muscles and everything, fairy wings. And then, fairy wings. Um, fairy wings, yeah. Oh gosh, you, you know, know Captain America and fairy wings. Yeah, he's 36. He doesn't look 30. He looks much older. He looks like in his he's 60s. 36. Yeah. Does right. he look like he's in his 60s? Yeah, he Tell looks us. like he's had he's a rough life. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Poor guy. Well, he dressed up in this costume and was caught breaking into a shed. Um, so apparently, the homeowner came out with a gun and called the police and. Lo and behold, they took Captain America off Captain to the jail. <laughs> they hauled him so, off. And yeah, man, man, don't do drugs, guys. Yeah, just, <laughs> yeah, exactly. don't, oh, my goodness. Don't, yeah, don't do drugs <laughs> and watch yeah, uh, yeah. Avengers or no. whatever. You might get no. inspired to do the wrong thing. Yeah, Start maybe, tripping out. maybe yeah, he got a little excited or something. Uh, I just don't understand the fairy wings part. Like, I, yeah. how does that play in? To it. I'm not really sure. Like, where where do you get that costume for an adult? You know, did he have it laying around his house? Comic Con somewhere, but oh my goodness! Yeah. Did he just like put? Yeah, I know. Did he put that costume on? And He's say, probably oh, been here. He's probably been to Florida. He yeah. probably got it at Comic Con. No. Or something like <laughs> Oh yeah. He's like he just put it on and he's like he's like it's That's just funny. missing yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm missing the wings. Yeah. Now is he married? Did he Honey, help me put these wings on. <laughs> yeah. If he could fly. Right. How did he get them on? Oh my goodness. He didn't oh, have the God. shield though. No. He had the wings but no shield. Oh, it's really sad. Well, you'll have to. <laughs> this is a real ghetto Captain America. But yeah. So hey, oh, you know what? Gosh. It's not Florida, so I'll take it. We'll take so, it. Where was it? Mississippi. Mississippi. Oh. Cool. We knew we were gonna get some yeah. something from the south soon. Mississippi. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, southern states there. Right. Oh, man. Yeah, listen, keep your Captain Americas locked up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it for the kids. Well, we've got another one, too. Do you want to um, you want to go over that one, Rom? Yeah. Okay. okay. This one, and you might, as a broker, uh, be able to uh, interject in this one, is a New York man pretending to be a real estate broker. I saw that, yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, so he was going around. So basically what he was doing was taking actual listings, going, calling the owner, saying he'd like to, uh, he had a friend interested in the property and do like a virtual tour or whatever for his friend. So he would go there and take pictures uh, and put up a description and then post it on Craigslist and also Zillow. Which I don't know how you really got he got away with that because yeah you have yeah, to be you, a broker you got to have a you license to be an agent or you got to be the owner itself right, right. if you want to do like a for sale by owner hmm. so I don't know how he got past that but he was on Zillow and uh, Trulia um, and a couple other things so let me pull that this is up. the guy that was collecting the rents and 
He was renting the places out? Yeah, he, well, yeah. I think he did that. Yeah, it said like one lady got took for $2,300 in broker fees yeah. and $100 application fee. That's wild. I mean, up in New York, uh, like by the city and whatever, this is Terrytown. So up there, it's pretty competitive to get apartments and stuff. Like you, you right. may, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, there's some real estate agents that they only deal in in rentals of course yeah and, and make a good living off of it because mm -hmm. it's in such high demand uh it's not like anywhere so this else. is a new york guy he was in florida no this is a new york guy up in new york oh, okay i thought this was a florida no 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 this is uh, up there gotcha i mean but i've seen these scams oh yeah happen down here uh quite, quite a bit I've, I've come across them i've had clients that Mm -hmm. uh, came across it like, can you look up this one? I'm like, that's AOA. Real. It's yeah. on Craigslist. Yeah, I go. I mean, I do some Craigslist stuff too. So some Craigslist stuff is legit. legit yeah, you know. But you have to be. But careful. there's some that if it looks like it's too good to be true. I mean, if they say it there's a is. three or four bedroom, two bath for seven hundred fifty dollars a month, right, yeah. and all the other rents are you right. know, twelve hundred and up. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the alarm should be going yeah. off. Like yeah, red right. flag alert. If they're if they're in the military and they're out of the country and they need mm. you to wire them three grand, yeah. to send you the keys, send yeah. the look. And, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, it's like Nigerian lottery wow. stuff. Yeah. You don't want to want to be a part of that. Mm. But yeah, that's what they uh, that's what they do. And I've seen it on Craigslist myself. Mm -hmm. I've come across it. I've had personal friends that came across it mm -hmm. and were like, you know, keep looking at this property. And I'm like, yeah, I go, nope, no good. Yeah. Well, that's why you should always use a licensed realtor yeah. to find your properties yeah. if you're looking to buy, rent, sell. And, you know, and you it's know, not a DIY thing. I mean, I've heard of it no, happening no, in no. other parts of the country, too, like Maryland. I, I know there was one lady that was a, a scam from a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. uh, and I think it was for the sale of properties. It wasn't even for rent. Oh, wow. Like, so she was taking a, a, Take a listing a, a um, escrow I've heard money. about this, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was showing stuff that wasn't hers listing and, and taking it. It's taking crazy the, the things people come up with so they don't have to work, you know. Yeah. I've often asked myself, I mean, they spend so much time and energy, it's so elaborate to try mm -hmm. to do things. I'm like, if you would spend half that trying to do something the right way. Right. You know, just put you some effort really in. You could be really successful. Yeah, right. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're putting effort into the wrong thing. Oh, it's my all goodness. Yeah. A little misguided, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So, that's crazy. Yeah. That, and they're uh, normally pretty smart. I mean, you got to be, yeah. you got to be, I mean, sometimes I've sit there, I'm like, I don't, I only figure out how you do this. You know, you're sitting there going through this and you're figuring all the pieces they go through to figure this stuff out, how yeah. to scan these. 10 different than like mm. you like you're pretty be, smart actually yeah. to, <laughs> why don't you use that it's kind for of like card good. counters in the casino business right you admire the oh, intelligence you but know. then you're like why yeah. you know it's like the guy that had this building mm -hmm. brilliant okay if you had that kind of skills to right. make those kind of money up just okay yeah. just but, do something the right way yeah it's all yeah, it, takes. it wasn't like a tough time or anything was it you know like i don't know it was probably yeah yeah I don't know, like people no. They never fail to surprise us. So there you go. That's two non-Florida man stories for you. <laughs> yeah, double bonus so, today. Yeah, double right. bonus. Double bonus. I like it. Yeah, New Yorker and a Mississippi guy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. New Yorker and Mississippi uh, Captain America walking to a bar. What happens? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> News. Maybe Captain yeah. America needs to move to New York. You can call that guy. Oh no. Find nice. He place. might fit at home up there. I yeah. didn't say that out loud. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be like the what's the naked cowboy or something yeah, like that. You, you know, go. you might just be okay up there, out. you know, right? They'll find an apartment, no problem. <laughs> you mean Mississippi Captain America guy? Yeah, he should. He should have been on. Uh, he could just walk around Times Square and yeah, he right. could have made more money doing that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh my For God. real, with his, with his fairy wings and everything, yeah. <laughs> he would have been like stand out. Might have still got on the news. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh yeah. man, people. Been... <laughs> oh, all ghetto, right, well, ghetto Captain America. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> to more intelligent people. Let's talk about some uh, local small businesses that started in Tampa um, and have just blown up or mm. just small businesses that we admire in the area. Um, yeah. You well, got me? I mean, if you follow Jen on like Let's Talk Tampa or yeah. any of the other stuff, she likes to put a spotlight on small businesses, mm -hmm. in particular like cupcake shops and anything to do with food. Yes. It seems like. <laughs> <Okay>. Yes. <laughs> I love cupcakes. <laughs> 
Yeah. Did you see the uh, B- Bacon Babes, the one that did the, the Lizzo? No. Oh, but she had a concert here a couple days ago. Oh, she so did? So before that, leading up to that, they did like their own shake for that. <gasps> and it blew up on Instagram no. and all that. So then she came here and she would actually stop by. Oh, my gosh. Here. Just a couple days ago. What was it? Bacon Babes? Bacon Babes. Oh, I got to look that up. I've never heard of them before. Check them out. I think they're at the... Um, on Franklin, Hall and Franklin. Okay. I believe they're in there. That would make sense. Yeah, I was They've there. I don't remember. I mean, you can't yeah. get from them, I don't think. No. Ooh, you bacon babes, well, I'm coming for you. I mean, that place is cool. Oh, yeah. Have you been in there? Oh, yeah. yeah. Have you ever been no, there? No, I've never been in there. Hall and Franklin. Have you been to uh, Armature Works? Mm-hmm. It's similar to Armature Works, except mm-hmm. at the Hall, you get, they have like an independent server. Oh. So, like, you can go to a spot, right? And mm-hmm. then they have a server that can take. Um, your your order from all the different oh, restaurants. Oh, that's nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's organized. how it works. Or you could sit at like one of the individual ones if you want, mm-hmm. yeah. and you'll get like their worker. But they have like these independents, and they, that's why they automatically charge you a, like a tip or whatever. They put it all on on there. One, one. That's yeah. genius. But they yeah they go around and they have they can take orders. So even if if you're ordering from different like say we're all there together in a party mm-hmm. a group and you each want something different from mm-hmm. a different place. You can do that. Yeah. That's really cool. They do it and then they have like food runners that oh. will bring it from that restaurant no. to your nice. table. Yeah. yeah. What a great idea. usually about the same time. See, there's a, a great small business. Absolutely. Yeah. Right here in well, That's a multiple, yeah, like a whole mm-hmm. bunch of a small business right. within a small mm-hmm. business, I mean. That's yeah. incredible. Oh my yeah. gosh, wow. I don't even know where do we leave off bacon babes. <laughs> <laughs> Food. Okay, we're talking about Food. cupcakes. Cupcakes, yeah. Well, speaking of cupcakes. Jen's infatuation you with know, cupcakes. You know, I love my cupcakes. I got to give a shout out to uh, my girl, Christina. She's a fellow UCF knight. Um, she owns the um, the, cu- the cupcake shop in, um, or the cake girl is what it's called. Cake girl. Um, it's in Carrollwood. Yeah. And she makes some delicious cupcakes. Oh, okay. All sorts of flavors. I just got some for a broker's open that I did the other day. Um, and she put the, a picture of the house on the cupcakes. It was edible. It was really cute and delicious. delicious. <laughs> so yeah, there's one local small business. Um, she yeah. has a lot of them. She does. Like, what well, do you do? You have a lot I of I do. Uh, I got a lot written down here. These things uh, that you've been to and go mm-hmm. always uh, updating. I know. For, uh, let's talk Tampa. Sorry. Yeah, talk I love Tampa. it. Yeah, check out Let's Talk Tampa if you haven't yet. Um, I do go to lots of small businesses all over the, you know, the Bay Area, even into Pinellas and Pasco. Um, I've got a couple here I'd like to give some shout outs to. Um, if you don't follow our Facebook page, This Is Tampa Podcast, please do, because I got a couple shout outs from here. Um, and we'll totally shout out your business. Um, Jane Boutique in Plant City, they've got clothing, jewelry, gifts, uh, Distinctive Design Homes, they're a full service general contracting firm. Mm. Um, and they're based out of Wesley Chapel. They actually just won the Best of Wesley Chapel Award in the uh, general contracting category. Um, the Purple Bell Ice Cream Truck, that sounds delicious. Purple, Purple Bell, Bell Ice Cream Truck? Yeah. Is that so, a Blue Bell? I don't know. I know, right? I'm just asking. The Purple Bell, I don't know, Purple, sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know With why the, it's purple. The red bell and the blue bell get together and made a purple bell. <laughs> there you go. No one's looking those at the ice right? at the uh, grocery store. Hey. <laughs> um, double mint sitting. Uh, I've used them personally. Those are two great young girls, um, and they've got a great thing set up. If you've got kids, um, are they twins? No, oh. I don't know why they call it double mint. I got We got to have them on the show and ask them okay. because they're, double, they're double, double mint sitting. Um, so basically, they're, if you need a babysitter in a pinch, you just give them a call. They send a qualified babysitter. They background check them. They interview them. Yeah. They send you a profile of the babysitter before uh-huh. she comes so to your like house. It's care.com, but it's their own basically. small, like, and it's local, local yeah. Local one. So it's a great, a great program, especially for moms like me. Um, 22 Moons Antiques in Lithia. Uh, the main ingredient in Lutes, that's a specialty gro- grocery store. Um, County Line Produce and Lutes, um, all about kids in Lando Lake. So it's a consignment store, yep. um, similar to like Once Upon a Child. So I've heard they've had some good things there. I'll have to go check them out. So, <laughs> man, surprised you already have it. Yeah. So those are some shout outs. Um, again, follow our social media and you can get a shout out too. Um, what about some uh, small businesses that just totally took off from, from the Tampa area? You have any mm. suggestions or anything you want to talk about? 
like but it's going good establishments like, or like new ones i mean because there's there's a couple well, that are like some new ones that are up and yeah. coming like you probably have more insight on that than i would but uh, there's a couple new ones that know before um their technology side they just recently had like a billion dollar valuation at some major investments wow um they're acquiring their, yeah with the b with the b um <laughs> we're starting to see oh a lot of gosh. big push for tech and innovation here yeah um, med tech um there's a couple different groups like there um, Emertech is number, another phenomenal company. Um, they had an opportunity to go out to San Francisco. Um, they had investors out there, but their requirement was that they had to be in San Francisco, and they chose to come back and do their race here in Tampa. Wow. And they're taking off doing some really cool stuff. Is that, yeah. That's not the one you had here, is it? The, where, didn't you have some tech uh, thing here one night? I remember I had to clear out of here. Oh, there may have been, um, either may have been Tampa Bay Wave or... Um, was synapse synapse group synapse, synapse maybe yeah, they were doing a launch party or something like that here okay uh, so emertech some of these guys probably would have been at that event but, uh, right. but yeah. i remember you said yeah it was like an invite like pretty exclusive thing mm -hmm. uh, for a tech company i just can't remember which which one it was. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of a lot of new tech companies coming in um which is a really interesting thing because i mean i've been able to connect with those groups mm -hmm. um you know the deal flow is really good i'm um, a qualified mm -hmm. family office professional so you know a lot of those we can introduce to family offices and maybe looking mm -hmm. for investment yeah or they're looking for you know exposure in those arenas um, but then it varies from our Ignite program, which is for service-based businesses. Right. So we kind of That's keep that really separate. That's really cool. But yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, yeah. they'll bring a lot of jobs here, too, don't you yes, think? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, really absolutely. good, hopefully good paying hopefully jobs. good paying jobs. In looking, industry. Yeah. There's a lot of talent starting to move to Florida, so we're starting to see that. Really? Um, I think from the state level. Uh, we were actually in a meeting with uh, Janet Cruz a couple months back and mm -hmm. some of the other leaders. And they're really looking for, you know, what can they do from a state level to bring, mm -hmm. you know, you know, bring the talent here, bring investors here. Yeah, uh, Tampa, so I mean, because we even compete within the state with, mm -hmm. you know, Orlando is a is a big spot, hot mm -hmm. spot. Uh, Miami always, obviously, uh, but yeah, Tampa is really making a play for it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, and, and I think we're doing pretty good. I mean, Tampa's in a good spot. Yeah. Uh, like you say, you got three major sports teams. You got somewhat affordable living, mm -hmm. uh, especially more so than Miami. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Orlando's like right there. Orlando's a tough one uh, to crack. Orlando is, it's, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When you're competing with that, they but they don't have the beaches. They might have fake beaches, but they don't have the mm -hmm. beaches like we do. Yeah. Yeah, Orlando has a resort. I mean, they have Disney. I mean, they have a resort. Yeah. They have that. Yeah. Miami's Miami. Miami's yeah. cool. Miami's fun. But Miami's Miami. Yes. You know, so, They're in so, their own world. It is. It's, a, it's another world, Miami. It really is. Um, Tampa's, I think, a, the best mix of you know all those as far as the it city is. goes. You know, it really is. I think so too. You know, especially a tech play. Like, where would you rather put your tech company? Like, or, or if you're a top talent in the mm -hmm. tech business, mm -hmm. where would you want to work? You know, right. everybody like, oh, they want to work in New York or whatever because it's New York. That's mm -hmm. all that's been burned in their brain. But yeah. why would you want to live there when you could come down here and be near the beach? Yeah, and for the cost, the lower, lifestyle, yeah, right. taxes. taxes. Yeah. yeah, we're seeing that now. I just saw where uh, Carl um, Icon. He's he's moving his whole shop down here. Oh, really? So from New York, so you're starting to see a lot oh, of that. Too, yeah. Absolutely, Icon. Mm -hmm. Yep. We're starting to see a lot of that happening. So I mean, you're going to see some pull here. You got Austin. I mean, there's some there's some hubs around the country. Mm -hmm. I think Tampa is definitely giving everybody a run for the money. And yeah, there's like here. Nashville. Mm -hmm. I think is Nashville's like and I, same thing yeah. with like Austin and, and yep. whatnot. Yeah. But we have you know uh, some pretty top names. Bill Gates has mm -hmm. invested in Tampa and the mm -hmm. Water Street area. And, oh, I yeah, didn't know that. All that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, they yeah. partnered with uh, Jeff Binnick on that group. Oh, so all, wow. Yeah. That is really cool. That's I had no idea about that. Mm -hmm. We got the I mean, hard ride. We just hard. It made a huge, what, $700 million expansion. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Who did? Hard Rock. Hard Rock. Oh, Casino. they Casino. did? Yeah. yeah. They, they built wow. like a whole new side of their hotel and they were no. all that. Oh, the whole new hotel. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a, another a casino lot hotel more. or? Yeah. Another wow. casino hotel. There's gonna be yeah. like 200 Tampa's table games. Crazy. Seems like every week, there's another announcement for another tower going up. Yeah. There's you know, or wow. one got sold. I mean, there's all kind of stuff going That's on incredible. right now. That's so incredible. Well, if you, if yeah, for all of you who are moving here, if you need a realtor, I know a couple good ones. <laughs> yeah, don't call me. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Andre's too Andre, busy with other things. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Andre ain't got time. To, oh my gosh. So that That's really cool. He's got his own development plans going on. So, uh, yeah, what about like some of the uh, businesses that have grown 
mm-hmm. out of Tampa. We talked about some of your small businesses, like yeah. the Cake Girl. You never know. I mean, she could, yeah, she could start franchising up. and, and Tank, become a I national like brand yep. yeah, easily, right? I think she could. I think yeah. she could. I mean, once they got the systems down, they could mm-hmm. you know, easily um, pass those on yes. to different places. But there are some that have proven to do it that are from Tampa, such yep. as... Hooters. Yeah, I'm sure you freaking one that Hooters comes to mind. Yeah, right? <laughs> top of mind all the time. Yeah, uh, Hooters, but uh, <laughs> you know, Hooters are wing house. Their wings are really good, <laughs> right? Their wings. <laughs> wink, wink. Um, oh my gosh! It's been 15 years since I've been inside of a Hooters. Now, some Friday night. No, I, I take that back. Before they closed the one here in Sparkman, I went down there a couple times. For oh yes, but uh, yeah, no. Oh yeah, they had the channel side, right? They had one, yeah. Yeah, the old channel side. They used to be the corner, so. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, they started out of Clearwater, I think it was, back mm-hmm. in like the 80, early 80s. Yep. Yes. Yeah. And then it was followed up by Wing House, kind of, you mm-hmm. know, I guess, uh, what do they say? The the imitation? Fast second. I don't know, but it's... Huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's... A, it, I, know you're say, I know what you're trying to say. I can't think of the phrase either, but... Yeah, it's flattery. Right? Mm-hmm. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, imitation is the best yeah. form of flattery. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah, that so that and that's what Wing House did, and Wing House started in Largo. Actually, mm-hmm. I think Wing House is better. I prefer Wing House. That's what I'm saying. Isn't that the argument that Wing House did it better? Hooters. Yeah, but Wing House doesn't have the footprint across the United States. Right. Yet. I think Wing House is only in Florida. Maybe I, I don't know. I never seen one outside of Florida. Yeah. But I've been to Hooters in you know other parts of the everywhere. country. Yeah. Wow. But they're everywhere. Yeah, I was looking at the Hooters founders, and it was like two painters. A uh, real estate Painters. agent, yeah. They, oh, was it a real estate agent? A real estate agent. Jeez, um, smart. I can't remember, but, but they just, you know, they're these guys that just had this vision for Hooters. a restaurant and had normal <laughs> jobs, and then boom, yeah. now you own Hooters. So, right. yeah, they just serve <laughs> wings. There's the American and, dream right there. I'd love know. to know that story because I probably wouldn't have easy, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> but, yes. no, that would have been cool though. It's really funny. Another good one is. Uh, is uh, Publix one of my Publix. favorites yeah. that yeah. I always you know I'm always and there's new Publix right here right right, right here on channel side like just right opened up up the oh, corner on yeah. the corner right yeah. oh yeah, over know. here on, on Meridian right I think um, Meridian. yeah Meridian Meridian and what is that crossroad let's say Twigs right in that area is there Twigs Whiting yeah no what Whiting's right yeah yeah Twigs yeah you're probably right. map, but yeah it's a couple blocks from here but I just opened that one up that one was they've been announcing that one for like the last year really to open up. kept oh, getting yeah. delayed 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 but it's finally open went in the other day and did you oh, yeah you didn't get no beer though no I didn't <laughs> I noticed the fridge is in gummies. stock that's why I have <laughs> it's like, that's why I have drink coke I, uh, I have a Aww. coke zero oh, my I had to quit buying you know, that keg man it was like here every night and I was like <laughs> I had to stop yeah so it yeah, oh, the keg's quickly. empty too. The keg's been empty. Oh, we had a stock full of beer from one of the last uh, from the art event. So Mila, thank you, Mila. She left like a ton oh, of beer. Oh yeah, the beer. The, well, so that, that all ran out too. I'm <laughs> like, okay, well, I've been drinking. That. I've been stunned out. Oh, I'm trying to like yeah. chill out. Yeah. You're trying to chill. You trying to lose a few pounds? I'm for... trying to lose a couple inches, man. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> well, uh-huh. you know, you're supposed to do that before summer, not at the end of summer what now you're supposed to it's october you uh, october fest you're supposed to start drinking now well, if i lose some weight now i can have a couple later I don't know. there we go oh, so you're gonna lose weight for like the what holidays and then you're doing it backwards <laughs> hey we gotta talk to the big now dog on this. To eat. Yeah. <laughs> against the grain yeah you're going against <laughs> the grain again oh my gosh against the grain. Uh, yeah but Publix is great i probably spend oh, yeah. so much money i can't even imagine with three kids and oh, yeah. I cook a lot, and oh man, Publix. There's one on every corner, so, and they're out of Lakeland, yep. so. Listen, I, I mean, somebody brought up a good point. I can't even remember where I was, uh, where I saw it, but, we're, we're, oh, they were talking about um, brand, you know, branding and, and stuff mm-hmm. like that, and like, why would you prefer to go to Publix over like Walmart, mm-hmm. you know, is that value property? You got that. You don't. You right. know, you're getting more service, better service, mm-hmm. yeah, than you do at Walmart. It's true. Oh, it's, it's very true. true. So you're willing to pay a little premium. Yes. You know, and I don't think it's, it's even. Bad, no. It's not that bad. No, yeah. and, and usually if you're like if you're a savvy shopper, mm-hmm. when you're taking advantage of their uh, bogos yeah. and their mm-hmm. you know, coupon. yeah, yeah, I got a buddy that does like couponing. Yeah, and oh, he'll really? come. Wow. I mean, he'll have like so much stuff, and he's like six bucks like, and that gave me 12 bucks back yeah, <laughs> yeah. i'm like yeah. 
Yeah, or yeah, or they give them. Money. I've seen that before. Somebody check out and have two baskets full of stuff, and they get money back at the end of that, and everybody's like, "How oh, okay?" Whatever. Just like amazed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have oh, to okay. see another smart person, yeah, right? You yeah. know. Yeah, Put but if you're smart about it, that... how much time and effort goes into right. figuring that? I'm like, okay, but that's well, that's a lot for co- couponing. It's not easy. It's I mean, a full-time you could be... job. I'm like, I you mean, there's pay people for that groceries, but do it mm. as like a small business. There's people that mm. actually yeah. will do it for you as a service. Yeah, and all you gotta Makes do is sense. show up at the Publix or Rich wherever. Check out you know, and get yeah, your coupons with all the stuff yeah. ready to go. I, I always it's... go for the Publix chicken or the uh, the sandwiches. I always go for the Pub so good. That's one thing Pub they need to fix though, is their deli. Yeah. What do you, mean? What do you think? A deli. They should have pizza there, honestly. I don't even know about the but if you think about it, every time you go to a Publix for the deli to go get a sandwich, mm-hmm. the line's messed up. Yes. It's in the aisle. It's I mean, even the brand new ones like this too. And I'm like, why isn't this just its own separate yeah. section? Make it its own little restaurant right. inside there. Oh uh, that's a great well, idea. Well they it's kinda like that. I mean, in you're the serving more sandwiches one. in Subway or anything mm-hmm. like that, you're way better. So why not have it its own See, that's where, uh, well, Publix still, like, ranks number one, I think, in, in grocery food chains. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Wegmans, which is up by where I'm from in New York, mm-hmm. they were, like, number two. Oh. And Wegmans is, is legit. And they'll have it like that. They have, like, a little separate area that's, like, a Absolutely. restaurant. And yeah. if you've ever been to, like, a Kroger, like, I yeah. was at a Kroger in Ohio. Mm-hmm. Yep. That was really cool. They had a, a whole, like, they had a bar. Mm. They had a bar. <laughs> You know, I'm like, man, this is. They had the separate food space yeah. where they have even. Uh, That's for couples like, that go shopping together. Yeah. <laughs> right? like, yeah. I, I was like, I'll be at the bar. Yeah. Right, exactly. I was like, man, this is the best supermarket <laughs> exactly. ever. I just was like, I don't even go to the yes, bar. I'll go grocery like, shopping with you. Yeah. I'm like, you're good. I love it. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Late night. I'll see you right. later. I'm going to stay here and have a couple specials. Yeah. And oh, uh, that's yeah, awesome. that's to me, that's like the best thing ever. I'm like, man, mm-hmm. they, they should do this at every single store, yeah. like especially like women's clothing stores. Oh, yeah. That would be perfect. That's too. a great business idea right there. Yeah. Put a little right? bar in the store and there you Just go. Just like, uh, you know, or yeah, get know. the like on the golf cart course when they have the little golf cart girls that come around Beer with lady. the liquor. Oh, yeah. yeah that's, that's like really... my favorite part of golfing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the cart girls. They should have that. It just goes Stand around the mall, there. like to the different, you know, uh, clothing stores for women. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you, that'd Lots make a champagne. killing. Mm-hmm. She'd be like, uh, "You want to? You know, I'm, I'm going to Sales the store." Tonight, I'll, she'd right? be like, "I'm really? leaving. I'll see you later." I'm you'd be like, "Where are you going? Oh, I'm going clothing shopping. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll come." <laughs> like, no, it's a girl's like, night. Yeah. <laughs> right now, yeah, yeah. like, oh no, oh, yeah. You want to come with me? No, hell no. There you go. Right? That's your business idea, no, Rob. Drop me off at Hooters. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, let's take some other some other um, ones that have taken off. Bloomin' Brands. They mm-hmm. own um, Outback and yep, Bonefish, and yep. it's another local Tampa business. Um, Raymond James, of course. Can't forget Raymond James nope. in Saint Behemoth. Petersburg. That's a pretty big business. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Just a tad. <laughs> Just a tad. <laughs> um, any others you you can think of, Andre? Excuse me. Some that have started here and really grown. There's a lot of franchise. I know Bonefish. Bonefish was the one that was here, mm-hmm. but I think they they did get acquired. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's still by a local company, Bone right? Brands. Right. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't realize Bonefish was its own entity before. Mm-hmm. That's all. I love Bonefish. Mm-hmm. That place is good. Yeah, they have an interesting story behind some of their stuff too. Oh, um, do they? Yeah. I don't, ah. yeah. Um, trying to think what's the like a couple of tech fish. companies that have kind of gone even just sold recently what's that I don't like bones in my fish no nobody no. does <laughs> nobody things does. will kill you man just like nobody <laughs> that's why you know yeah. you know that's a little dangerous why is it called bones right? on the edge yeah I'd be called boneless fish I'll open that restaurant that'd <laughs> be better oh my god hmm. I love it how about the new public sandwiches I know or the Popeyes Popeyes chicken sandwiches. Oh, Popeyes. I know they're not. I know they're in Louisiana, but you haven't. I haven't. No. Nobody's had them yet because they ran out. But oh, really? Is that the thing with the Chick Fil A versus the Popeyes? That's what really. Oh, yeah. yeah. Listen, I wonder what are they supposed to be like? Are I think they... it was a whole PR. I'm sure they're stunt. phenomenal. I I'm mean, sure, really. Yeah. I mean, you know, if, if I had to pick, you know, Popeyes or Publix, I'd be Popeyes. You go to Publix all the time because it's convenient, uh-huh. close, and it's really good. Yeah. Hey, but but what imagine Chick Fil A. What about Chick Fil A? Yeah, Chick Fil A's got the best. Chicken sandwich, right? This is yeah, Popeye's chicken. Then. Popeye's chicken. Popeye's. What's so special about Popeye's chicken? When was the last time you had some Popeye's chicken? 
couple years ago. Okay, well, well now you gotta get some okay. Popeyes. Go get some Popeyes. <laughs> I'd rather have KFC or no. Chick-fil-A. I like Popeyes. No. I mean, I like it. Popeyes I'm not going to sure say I don't KFC. like it. But. <laughs> I mean, if you're picking fried chicken, like yeah. who makes the best fried chicken? I like We Zaxby's. can argue Publix. Fried oh, chicken? fried chicken? Just no, like wait, their... Yeah. Just oh, fried Publix chicken. The, I think that's the best Publix one. is the best. And mm-hmm. if there's going to be one that would top it, I'm voting for Popeyes. Really? So now take Popeyes chicken tenders. Oh, that's better. You, <laughs> the picture, you saw the pictures of them. You're like, yeah, I want that one. Yeah, I mean, I'll eat I don't it. even want to go back to Chick-fil-A now. Uh, <laughs> I, I actually want to figure out how do we get a Popeyes like yeah. downtown. I think that's going to be their there biggest challenge is their, their brand <laughs> is associated with you know lower income areas oh, so you're not going to see a chick-fil-a and a popeyes next week you just you don't no, see that anywhere oh yeah that's true so, but that's i think true. if you did i think that that would make a big difference because now it's like yeah. I, mean, I don't even know where the nearest popeyes to us is where is it in the near- north yeah. of 275 tampa somewhere yeah, south of west tampa there's there. one off the interstate probably. west tampa by the airport mm-hmm. west tampa okay mm-hmm. so, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably over there that's not so that's, that's gonna be only. Far. It's not too far, but okay. I want a chicken sandwich, and I gotta go. Where am I? Yeah, gonna you go? gotta go out of your way to get where it. Where you right. go? You just go mm-hmm. Publix for chicken sandwich or yeah. chicken tenders. I go to Publix all day. Chicken tenders. Mm-hmm. Chicken tenders. Mm-hmm. So Listen, good. You're making me hungry. It's lunch. <laughs> <laughs> we, we always and their back chicken wings. The <laughs> the chicken wings are good too. We always get sidetracked. Chicken wings too. are good at Publix. Yes. Yeah, absolutely, they are. All right. Oh, man. Well, that debate will go on. He did, he didn't even have a Popeyes. Chicken sandwich yet, but you're already voting. I haven't said I'm voting so, for it. That, <laughs> we'll find out. They ran time. out before I get one. Yes. Next time, we're yeah. gonna come track you down and see Let's which one. one. Right. <laughs> we're, we're, like, was there a chicken shortage? They they couldn't get enough. They chickens? ran out of buns. They ran out of buns. So they didn't was expect there a flour the flour shortage. Well, <laughs> no, I think what it was is they they were rolling it out, but they didn't plan on the the whole Chick Fil A Popeyes Twitter uh. battle. Right. And that thing just blew up. So yeah. now everybody in the country is like, I'm going. So they, they just ran out. Oh, my gosh. I don't gosh. know. I think they started it, probably. Well, it was a PR stunt. It was yeah. genius, but... Then they colluded probably. with chick to do it. Yeah, well, yeah, he saw the tweet. It was like, hey, y'all good? And I mean, that was, that was a tweet. There's just illusion going Pop, on Yeah, because Chick-fil-A is like, oh, okay, we have a chicken sandwich. This, this, this. Or, maybe. Look maybe. up the tweet. It was like chicken plus a bun plus pickles is, you know... I know who started it. Tyson started it. Yeah, you know what? Maybe chicken supplier started. <laughs> Maybe it. there you go. Yeah. Hey, you know what? That's pretty genius. <laughs> yeah. Hey, like, let's pretty smart over there at Tyson. Oh, Let's have a chicken wing fight now. Oh yeah. man. Oh yeah. Well, I would, okay. I would, I would start that. <laughs> so moving into um, chicken and all sorts of things like that. Have you tried any new chicken restaurants or anything <laughs> else new in Tampa that you've? Have you tried this week? Any new restaurants or? Flock and Stock. They okay. are at Sparkman Wharf. Okay. That's actually good chicken. Oh, it's phenomenal. Yeah, we didn't Flock even think of that. Flock and Stock. No, and they're really local, small business. Local, small business. Oh, yeah. I like yeah. it. The guy that runs that, they've got a couple different concepts. They just opened um, like the, the 90s place. I'm trying to think of that one, the 90s tavern. Oh. The 80s. Okay. Gen, Gen X or the, Gen X. I don't yeah. know the name of it. I think it's the 80s though, isn't it? 80s, 90s, 80s, 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 
And 20 minutes later, you're looking for a bathroom. I'm like, I shouldn't be. No. Oh my so god! It was right. <laughs> it doesn't sound like a great experience. No, it was. It wasn't. I'm mean, like, we and we. I mean, we looked at Like we would never be back. Experiences you're into. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> not that. Oh, no, not that guy. No. Wow. Okay. Well, we both good. of us hey. that, looked up, and was like, never coming back. And wow. I, I hate because I was excited to try yeah. it. I was like, this yeah. looks so good. Yeah. yeah. The pictures look really good. Because it's uh, mm. was it? It's it's considered like. What is it? Like Southern Tennessee, tea, like Tennessee, yeah, yeah. Tennessee style, oh, yeah. something. What Tennessee a bummer. Type yeah. Chicken, spicy chicken. I hate knocking it. I they really don't have don't. like a, a non-spicy option. They, I, I like think they do. Which tendy. I think I don't know if we got the regular one, the hot. one. I don't know, but it was just. Oh, hmm. That's too bad. It is. Oh. Yeah, I, like a, I had big hopes for it too. I was kind of yeah. hoping to go up there and check it out, but now I don't know. Well, maybe you go test it out and let us know. But check it out. Well, I don't want to go. To, you know, I'm not into that kind of experience. <laughs> yeah. but I, don't I like. Fla- I don't like. I want the flavor. You know, yeah. I want to taste some really. You know, make it hot. I like hot and spicy too. Yeah. But yeah. Just don't give it's me. It's gonna be well rounded. Yeah. So. It's kind of what's good about the the. The Publix wings. Which ones do you like? The breaded ones or the non-breaded? Both. Because oh yeah, I like them both. Right? both. You know, they'll mix them <laughs> for you. Yeah, they'll mix them. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that until like a few months back. You get Publix the non-breaded, tip. get the hot and spicy. Yeah, get breaded, hot and spicy. Like, get yeah. always get the hot and spicy. Gets, you know, right now, there's a guy behind the belly going, "God damn it!" Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's working right now. You know, yeah, that's supposed to be on the secret menu. Yeah. Don't tell nobody. Right. But oh, Publix will pretty much do anything for you. Like if it, it's within reason, they'll yeah. like take care of you. Like a special request. Yeah, that's you the know. reason why they're so good. Yeah. That's why the sandwiches are so good. They will make them. I just, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah, I like the bread ones because of that. Like you said, it's got the spicy, but it's uh, it's it's the flavor. taste, absolutely. flavor. Yeah, the yeah. flavor is, yeah. is really yeah. good. But well, unfortunately, um, they don't have that. What about you? You know, I don't think I've tried anything new this week. I've been what? trying to rack my brain over here. I can't think of anything. Mm-hmm. Come on. I don't know. No, oh, I man. saw something you posted that I think was new. Well, I did start. I did post on my Let's Talk Tampa page um, a piece of cake. It's a um, cake shop or bakery. Um, it's price right. I think it's. <laughs> I, know, <laughs> I can't recall Shocker. where it is. Maybe, um, maybe kind of near West Chase. I guess I would say. I don't know. I'll post the link to it so that way they don't get upset. But it was really good. I walked in. I wanted some cupcakes. <laughs> And it's not the traditional bakery where you just buy the cupcakes on the it's spot. usually how it starts. Have you ever done this? Like, damn, I want a cup. You just, you know. No, no, I can't say that. Welcome to the I remember life the of cupcake the craze, you know, then they had yeah. the, the vending machines with cupcakes. Yes, and oh, the sprinkles vending machines. You know. Mm-hmm. Just, do you ever do that? Like, go on Yelp and just, like, put in cupcakes? Yeah. And then, oh, do you? I do that all the time. <laughs> I mean, I do that with pizza, but, yeah. like, some stuff, but not, like, no. cupcake. Oh, cake. I do that all the like, time. Yeah. That's how I found this place. And I actually had had this place at a wedding <laughs> a couple years ago, and I remember I remember thinking, oh my gosh, this is one of the best cakes I've ever had, wedding cakes. So when I found it on my phone, I went in, I was like, oh my gosh, I this, I've this i had your cake years ago. It was one of the best wedding cakes I've ever had. So they made me a batch really quick of cupcakes in the kitchen. Oh my God, they were so good. Yeah. And it was one of those bakers you walk in and it smells like a bakery. That was the first time I've really walked in and mm-hmm. been overwhelmed by like, you know, the smell of like your mom cooking cupcakes in the kitchen. Well, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. it's so I mean, it That's so the one good. thing that always pulls me into Kilwins when I'm walking mm-hmm. by. You can't walk by a Kilwins and not go no. in. No. Oh, you, you know what Kilwins is? You know that it was a New York thing? Was no. That, they have, Kilwins? They have one in Sarasota. Yes. Yeah, okay. By Siesta Key. Okay. Um, in uh, St. Armand Circle. Okay. At least last time I checked. Needle Beach. Like, oh, yeah, it's yeah, so yeah, good. Needle Beach. Nice. Like in that circle. You know that? Yep. Little, yeah. It's so good. Yeah, you can't walk by it without chocolate. You smell it. Ice cream. You can smell it as you walk by it. Because they bake the the waffle cones. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. You smell fresh baked. I actually I have been there. They do that. Yeah. It's like yeah. a little chocolate store. Mm-hmm. Yep, I've been there. It's so good. Yeah. See. Yeah. You can walk by. You had to go in. <laughs> I didn't want to go. Well, I mean. Yeah. I'm not big right. on sweets. So I don't. You know. Well, oh, okay. you're lucky. I can turn them down. That's I can turn them down too, but like, you better hand me a fresh beer. That's <laughs> 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 a fresh beer. Oh my oh, God. Yeah, well, I will take all the sweets. Right. <laughs> Cupcakes here, beer here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there the you chicken. go. <laughs> Cupcakes, chicken, beer. We're yeah. good. <laughs> That's it. Oh, man. It's well, that easy. So what about like a real estate tip? You got a tip today, Rob? Uh, my tip just goes back to like earlier that, that uh, story we had about the New York guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if you're listing a home or for sale or rent, uh, validate your these people that are saying that they're gonna uh they're in there for themselves or they're gonna do it look at take a tour for their friend or whatever 
uh, just verify it somehow. Like, make sure that your address isn't showing up on Craigslist. Yeah, and imagine. it's not you posted it, mm -hmm. or even Zillow. I guess in this, I don't know how he yeah. got away with that, but. Well, uh, yeah, line. I guess check your address once in a while and right. make sure it's not being sure it's uh, not on the internet, being rented promoted, out. but yeah, rented yeah. out by somebody else. Or bottom line, just get a realtor to help you out. Yeah, so, we'll do it. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll make sure that you're protected in yeah. that way. You have any real estate tips there, Andre? You're real pretty estate professional. Tips. Um, <laughs> 20 years. Oh, no, right. What, um, what aspect? I guess... Um, just anything that might be helpful to somebody who's, you know looking to buy or sell or maybe even invest right um from an investment standpoint i guess i kind of stray from the norm a lot of agents you know they really push home ownership as an investment mm -hmm. as it being a smart thing to do and i disagree oh so okay um i always get crossways with why that. would you disagree oh. though like for a long-term strategy i uh, mean it might not be the best out of all the investments you can make I mean, you're obviously better off at like a multifamily residential unit or something like that. Mm -hmm. But I guess one of the, the eye openers for me was right after the crash in 0607. I went to one of my mentors and they had run a successful commercial development business. Mm -hmm. um, I was talking to them. I was like, you know, let's I said, let's put some money together. I said, let's go buy a bunch of these houses. We're talking like fish hawks, stuff like that. The right. price, prices mm -hmm. had fallen through. And he looked at me and says, Andre, says, I don't care if they give those things away for a dollar. I will never buy a residential house as an investment. Wow. And I was like, okay. And I sat down, I'm like, why? Mm -hmm. He says, if I own a commercial piece of land mm -hmm. and I don't like what's there, I can change it. Mm -hmm. I can knock it down. I can rezone it. I can, change, I can do something different there. Right. If I own a house and he says, what do I have? I says, I can rent it out. Mm -hmm. He says, what do I have in 30 years? I've put in eight or 10 different renters at, mm -hmm. at a minimum. I've probably refurbished the house eight times at a minimum. Mm -hmm. And I, in 30 years, all I have is a 30 year old, some house that's still gonna need renovations and everything else and upkeep and it's still just a house. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. <laughs> so you buy, you buy, you invest in real estate based on what it can produce. Right. The, what happened, even in the crash, everybody was speculating that you were going to be able to sell it for more than you bought it for. Mm -hmm. Well, we know that's not always going to be true. Right. And if you follow the markets, I mean, look at Sarasota in the last year or two, I've been watching them. Their pricing yeah. is, it went, now it's heading back the other way. They're starting mm -hmm. to see some contraction. You're starting to see some of that here. So mm -hmm. I, you know, the rule is if it has one door, rent it. If it has a bunch of doors, buy it. Oh, right. what, okay. what, what about from tip. a flipping standpoint like in that same scenario where i mean they're giving away houses or you know where? so to speak or whatever if you were flipping crashed. in 2007 8 9 10 11 yes when the classes start coming all the experts are teaching everybody else how to flip mm -hmm. that tells you that flipping's done yeah okay because right. the guys who would be flipping are now teaching everybody else how to flip right because mm -hmm. the good deals are gone they've done them yeah so, I mean, that kind of stuff's out there. Mm -hmm. um, we're seeing, I mean, there is opportunity, you know, some of the like Seminole Heights, things mm -hmm. like that, where you can, you know, pick up some of the old properties, refurbish them, sell them. Yeah. Um, still very transactional. You know, it's really not an investment. It's still very speculative. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so that's from an investment standpoint. Yeah. I mean, you can get some short term sure. return on your money. Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe. Well, yeah. It, I mean, everything's we, we, risk. We did. It's, we've done. We've done it when before the crash, we were flipping properties. We used to be a mortgage broker, so we'd get you know foreclosure stuff like that come in, mm -hmm. and you get a house and you open up and there's stuff. There's just always stuff. Yeah. You know? Okay, this nest termites. Oh, this nest mold. This has yeah. this or this over expense here. Or now the market's starting to change on you. And now you're holding. It just all the stuff goes into it. So it's not always like. Uh, Flip or flop, like it's never like flip or flop. And, uh, <laughs> no, because it's never. It's not, that I way. mean, they're like nailing down. Like, oh, you've seen the post, eighty thousand like here, right? eighty thousand yeah. here, eighty thousand there. It's yeah. like always mm -hmm. never like that. No, yeah, it's not like that at all. No, wow. you know, they don't show you all the time that goes into it. They don't show you the holding. They don't show you. I mean, a lot of those. When I've even sat there and watched this, I'm like, it still doesn't make any sense. They're showing, mm -hmm. okay, we yeah, we made eighty thousand profit, but I'm like, what's your holding cost in this? How long did it take? Here's all the other pieces to it, and at the end of it, okay, so maybe you made 20 grand. Sounds nice. You still owe taxes on everything mm. else, and you've been working on this property for eight, 10 months. Yeah. So you made $2,000 a month of this. Does right. It, yeah. At a certain point, it doesn't else. make sense. Well, I just see her, like, she just sat there, you know, oh, 
That looks so good. <laughs> this looks so good. Oh, I love the way that came out. Well, it definitely inspires yeah. people to, you know, get out there and try something Inspire new, I guess. Right, yeah, right. But, Just, uh, yeah, be prepared mm -hmm. for the... I mean, if you're going to do that as a business, you need to, it has to be treated as a business. I see a lot of people getting in, hey, we want to make money in real estate, so yeah. they, they want to flip a house, they try to... It's fun. not for the faint of heart. Yeah. And it's, it's what do you, what, what, what do you think not. about, like, as far as, like, Airbnbs and stuff goes, like, short-term rentals and stuff? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of new interest in that. There is. I've seen a lot of people make a lot of money on that. Um, there's a lot of people who are really smart, and they bought a lot of properties at the low of the market, and they've been airbnb in those. Doing phenomenal. Oh, that's a good idea. You know, it's it's good as long as you have a cooperative government. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times that's a local right. government behind that. And the minute mm -hmm. something there changes, that model's done. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, we're so seeing, I've seen people now, they're paying top dollar for property because they can Airbnb it out. And yes, they can cover the mortgage. They're making $1,000 a month on it. Looks like a great investment. But the minute that turns or the minute somebody says, hey, guys, this is now illegal or mm -hmm. now you're a hotel or something like that, then yeah, the model's done. done. Yeah, you're done. Right. Yeah. Or your well, insurance company finds out and they drop you. There's a whole lot of stuff yeah, to it. Yeah. There really is. Well, good advice, Andre. Well, thank you. Thank you. So rates are low. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> right? they went up a tick. <laughs> they went up a tick, but rates are low. So, I mean, if you're buying, good, time to, good buy. time to buy. Refinance, definitely a good time and, to refinance. Yeah, like you said, there's so many companies coming to Tampa. So, you know, it's a Absolutely. good opportunity. Yeah. Um, but, well, thanks, Andre, for joining us Certainly. today. Thank thanks you. for all your yeah. advice. You. Uh, if you want some advice Thank from Andre, you know, uh, reach out factory 114 again we'll post a link to their website um, below the podcast video and on our facebook and social media so, good yeah, yeah we learned we learned quite a bit uh